Alright, uh, people, good night. Me again. Yeah, exploring the Guayama River. Why? As they know it as the Guayama River. Yeah, going and do a little paddle down the river and up and cast some lures and see what's going on. Yeah, so at the beginning of the road here, heading down. You're checking out the place here. Yeah? Just showing you all um, poverty on the Waima River. Waima River. Check plywood houses. Real, real poverty here, people. So, people, when, when you want to give charity or have something to give away or something, come down on the Waima River bank and just give to people. Open handed, open hearted. Yeah. You all may feel like it's somewhere in India or Africa, some poor village or something, boys. Right here in Trinidad. Uh, sad, sad. We're about right there on that side. We're going to have a food and find a spot to launch the kayak. And there are people um, at the bank of Guayama River, Guayame, Guayama River. Found a little slipway here on the river bank and going to launch and head down a little bit there and see how the terrain is, you know, look around a little bit and come on back, cast a little loose and see what's going on. So, here be pleased me again. Here I go, moving pretty fast along the um the river. Coming up to a little floodgate there. Let me see what happened to the kayak in front of the floodgate. Floodgate here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Nice vibes here, people. Right, heading in a little further now. Okay, yeah, well, a few hundred feet inside and hoping to see a nice something. Probably a snake or a monkey or something. Yeah. Mangroves, both sides, inside it has. See, there's something like a house or a camp or something inside here. Yeah? Seen some scarlet ibis flying around. So nice scarlet ibis. This is where the river widens. But cockrico, ah no cockrico, something. I think I should come here early morning or late evening. Oh, a rising tide right now the tide falling flat so i doubt i might get any good hit on the artificials uh, moving at a nice piece all i see so far is uh, some scarlet ibis and well i saw um a mat yeah a mat on the bank back there but it doesn't so so many um Disappear. Right, let me not go too close to them um, mangoes. Let's get a little deeper, deeper into the river. And truly, an artificial day. And you know what hit I might get? I bounce up any foreign creatures to try to attack my heart. This is our M16 something, I know. Some big caimans for you. Monster ass man. Watch that one going there. Big caimans. While, while paddling, I get stick up on something. I thought it was a fish, but I'm a little stick up on a piece of branch. And the rod started pen and reel started drag out. Thought it was something nice, but not. Yeah. 
so a big key man a while ago about the thing probably about six feet long and fat yeah I can for about a uh, half an hour now I say I cross over a mile and going to two miles inside the river and seeing water kind of milky and brown there are people just paddling paddling and like I ain't seeing no ocean out there come up to this big massive tree here I don't know what kind of tree is this but it's looking strange and most of the most I could see on the side of the river bank is just garbage, garbage and more garbage. Yeah. Yeah, the tide falling flat, it'll be harder to paddle out. So let me um, start to head back out then. Yeah, so um, heading back out, but going and stop the video. I want to check my GPS and see how far it is inside the river. So, yeah, people, goodbye.